So last time, or maybe the time before that, I was cutting out a part in a video where I was trying to poke fun at exaggeratedly named and branded feminine beauty products such as ones that would be called like Super Goddess while dancing around a tree with no clothes on and having a very long neck and shown holding the planet in her hands because woman created the earth brand soap. Whereas if whereas if, you know, there were goddesses like that of that description, they wouldn't need soap because they'd just like automatically be bright and shining, sparkling, so it's a bit of a contradiction. But it ended up sounding like me being a total douchebag. But speaking of that, I was reminded of another thing. There's this company here of presumably some kind of girly beauty product called Kiss My Face. Which not only is quite a funnily masculine, aggressive sounding name, but their logo is like It sounds just like kiss my ass, only face is actually even more plosive, so it sounds actually even more aggressive. Yo, all your mofos can kiss my face! Yeah, even though the meaning is all girly. We oh. This is the wrong game! So I thought I'd just do this thing, just because I kind of felt like playing something. And with that intro out of the way, scaring everybody off, let's play Returning a Favor, a Murder Mystery by Morgan. It's for Thief Gold, it's by an author I rather like. I mean, uh, you know, be fair, Into the Maelstrom, uh, you know, uh, Rosalind or yeah, Rhoda Mill is what it was. So, this is returning a favor, it's, we got to like, help out this Hammerite, clear his name because a, a Hammerite got murdered, and he wasn't liked by many people, and then this other guy is a suspect, but he has no alibi because on the night he was out walking, by which he means visiting his girlfriend, which is not allowed to be happening, so you have to clear his name and remove some evidence about his girlfriend and blah 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 and steal some loot. So, being that this is Thief Gold, I... Oh, yes, well, what did I normally do here? One and... bunch. Being that this is Thief Gold, the controls are, are all different and some of them are reversed, but it's nothing. A little custom-made auto-hotkey script made by yours truly cannot fix. So, indeed, this game's sound is quite different, so... There's only one volume slider instead of two, so no matter how I set it, it's gonna be not that good sort of looking, but... Workers at Highwater Power Station, due to the recent mishap in Section 2, I have ordered that all work points must be equipped with a water crystal in case of emergencies. Chief Engineer Marvigel Gel, Marvel Entertainment. What have we here? Yeah, that sounds too quick. Bloodstained Hammer engraved with an M. I guess these are like clues or something? Oh, you. Oh yes, and there's that. Now, I played a little bit of this to see if I was going to be into it. It seems pretty fun. But I have not played all of it, so I'm going to be stumbling around going, I wonder what this thing does for a while. So uh, let's avoid that guy in a quick, sharp-like manner. And... Yes. Hey, you. Ah, tis thee. Yes. The master thief. Indeed. There is scant time to explain. Quite. Take this key and map and go. All right, Mr. The builder guide your steps. Blippy audio. There's a stairwell key. Here's some kind of a map. I guess that's a map. It's pretty cool. You know, you've got like a bunch of different levels and stuff. Here's a little note. What, 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 what? Oh, yeah. You have to click in the corners in Thief Gold. Bah. Garrett, I will tell you what I know of what has happened in the past few days, but I will start by giving you a little background. Brother Merlon was an infuriating man. Just a few days before his death, I found out that he was after my position as treasurer and supervisor of the Acolytes. He accused me of embezzling money from the station's funds. An outright lie, just like that. I have been second in command here at the station for several years, and Master Forger Canthus trusts me. Canthus has given me the benefit of the doubt, but I'm sure that the investigator will think it's a motive once he finds out about this. 
As for the murder itself, I cannot say much. I understand Merlin was hit on the head and then fell over the balcony in the library. I myself did not see anything suspicious when I returned that night. Speaking of that, I need you to do me another favor. I have left some letters sent to me by Giselle. They're hidden in a secret compartment in my room. The investigator, Brother Nadicus, might find them if he searches the room. Take those letters and destroy them. The switch for the compartment is located near the windows. Find the real murderer and I will be freed. I'm afraid I cannot suggest other possible suspects, for Merlin angered many at this station. Perhaps reading the notes on the case by Natagus or investigating the crime scene will help you get started. However, Natagus doesn't seem to have any major leads, so you will probably need to look elsewhere as well. I've included some maps of the station with this note. Good luck, Garrett. L Lucas's wall. You're about to go down, man. Um, yeah, Peter, if you could just uh, go ahead and turn around, that'd be great. Okay, thanks, Peter. Great. Oh boy, I'm like quote Master McGee. That's like my one-trick pony. I quote things in voices. I so there's some kind of lock-up and or look-up key, and... Uh-oh. And there seems to be some guy walking over here. I mean, there seems to be some sort of heavily hammer-infested area, so I'm supposing here that I'm going to be encountering some amount of resistance. What with me being right up in their territory here. It doesn't say anything about... Well, don't kill anyone. It doesn't say anything about not giving them a concussion, so... So... High voltage. I guess that's some kind of loot. That's pretty pointful. I guess can't go anywhere there, so let's go into oops. ye old yonder stairwell. I guess I'll try the first door here. There seems to be somebody walking about. Hmm, I believe it's some kind of, like, novice-looking guy who has the voice of a not-novice, as if I recall right. Let's see here. Acolytes on kitchen duty. The cold storage is not to be used until permission is given by the Master Forger, as it is temporarily holding the body of Brother Merlon. Until then, you must make do with what supplies are on the shelves in the rest of the storeroom. Brother Lucas, a freezer holding a body temporarily? Hello? That's gonna spoil all the food? Like, who would want to ever put anything back in there without even with a thorough cleaning your image will be ruined uh, I don't know if I want to do this but that seems to be completely pointless so what's this well I can't seem to get that open with a key but there seems to be a guy walking around so I think I'm going to pay him a nice visit to the back of the head all Bobo -bo style, I guess, somehow. What are you? <laughs> <laughs> Much funnier getting knocked out sounds in this Thief 1 than Thief 2. For some reason, there's that guy who goes like, <laughs> and stuff. That's pretty good. I like guys who go like, <laughs> and, and vomit up stuff. What? Oh, yes. Seems it's slippery or something. You well, there's his body. With you. Well, you I can't can. take it. What, what did he say? You can't take it with you. <laughs> the best things in life are coming shortly. You know you can't take it with you. But I can. Ah. <laughs> Merlin's brutally murdered body. <laughs> I like it. Sack. All right. Potato sack man. Whoa, no, no, no. No lights. You freaking jerk. I'll put your body in the freezer. You freaking jerk. Tons of freaking jerks around here. Holy crap. What the freaking jerking hell? Uh, in you go, friend. In you go. Have a nice little pile up there. And have a nice little pile up there. Am I missing any loot? I don't really know. I don't really know where it is. I seem to recall. Oh, yes. 
Chandelier duty isn't as bad as you think, David. It's just your fear of heights. Yes, I have to get up before everyone else and crawl around those narrow ledges, but there are things that make up for it. The attic is nice and quiet. It's a welcome change to not have to listen to anyone snoring. In the mornings, when I'm tending the chandelier in the atrium, I can hear birds sing in the garden through the window. I often tarry there and listen. I can hear them as clear as if it was in the garden, as if I was in the garden myself. Anyway, I have to go light up those chandeliers now. See you later, Gerald. You know, I'm sure somebody heard me screaming and shouting at the beginning of the Who video trying there? to be all like talking loudly McGee and they're just like shaking their heads in befuddlement and shame and <laughs> whatever. But that's when you bust out the hyper skill blanket, but never mind that. There seems to be some sort of butcher's knife. That was clearly the murder weapon. I think I have solved the case. Let's go to court and say objection. A little wine, a little wine makes my thoughts run smoother, like well-oiled gears. May I request that a bottle is delivered to the library? Oh, these hammers so hypocritical. Also, there's only like two hammer voices that I know of, so yeah, just doing them a whole bunch over and over and over without any regard for anyone or their. Puppy dogs? What have we here? This is about as far as I got in my test playthrough. Let's see here. I don't know how you can stand those rafters, Gerald. Heights make me dizzy, and you have to get up an hour earlier than everyone else. Why didn't you ask for kitchen duty like me? We get all the leftovers. David. Not a hammer voice at all, but who cares? There's some kind of knife. That was the murder weapon. Now I understand. That was what they used to tape his mouth shut. So he couldn't scream, you know. You know. Hammerite compendium of precepts, regimens, and rules of conduct, volume 2. Gehen the thief did cry, false, master, release me for serpent, and shed -da 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 good all my days. Then miss the master, strike the thief's hand from him with a blade, no period. And the master said, go now and do good, no comma, for the re repentance has been paid. I have no idea what this is. It looks like it could be a puzzle or something. I've tried to, like figure out what letter should go here, but they don't even make any sense put together, so mm. I have no idea. That was Garrett saying, hmm. So maybe I'll find some other clues later or something, but uh, I guess I'll just stop it here, so hopefully I don't sound like an ass, or if I do, then you'll at least be amused, because asses are funny, right? Alright, bye.